You know, I've always looked on you as my son. Oh dear, one of those conversations. <laughs> oh, good move. I have a favor to ask of you, father, to son. Oh. I need someone to take over Macedonia from that idiot Valerius. I would like to appoint you. I govern Macedonia? If you will accept. Well, I buy three furies. Would you want me to govern Macedonia? You are the right man for the job. Mm, I can think of a few men less right. Brutus, you've always underestimated yourself. You might achieve great things if you would but try. In Macedonia? I think not. I would ask you to reconsider. I need someone I can trust. You need me out of Rome? Not at all. I need your help. Someone you can trust. Am I wrong to do so? You have doubts, do you? I did not say that. Well, speak plain, I beg you. Have I given you reason for doubt? Since you ask, you have, as you well know. You speak of years ago. Old betrayals do not signify. I betrayed nothing. Had you told me you were to march on Rome and asked me for my allegiance, I would have given it. I would have judged you insane. <laughs> but I would have given you my allegiance because I look on you as my father. Brutus. But you did not ask me for my allegiance. You demanded it at sword point. I betrayed nothing. Forgive me, I spoke too hot. You have never betrayed me. So why do you not trust me now? I trust you completely. So much so that you would send me from Rome to govern Macedonia. Well, thank you. I am honored. But I will not go. It is in my legal power to insist that you do go. As my father, as my father, I looked on For you. For a year or so, no more, until the city stayed. Forgive me, I feel unwell. Perhaps we can finish this game another time. Be reasonable! You're in every war with a knife at my throat. It would be foolish to ignore it. Only tyrants need worry about tyrant killers. And you are no tyrant. Haven't you told me so many times? You 